Imagine a creature so massive its footprints leave craters the size of houses. Imagine a being that can blast atomic fire from its mouth, reducing entire buildings to molten slag. Imagine Godzilla. This king of the monsters has captivated audiences for over 60 years, stomping his way through countless movies, comics, and video games. But have you ever stopped to wonder, oh, how is any of this possible? Is Godzilla just a fantastical impossibility? Or is there actual science lurking beneath his radioactive scales? In this episode, we're diving deep into the science behind Godzilla's powers. We'll explore the real-world possibilities of his atomic breath, his regenerative abilities, and even his incredible size. So buckle up, monster fans, because we're about to separate the science from the fiction when it comes to the one, the only, Godzilla. Atomic breath, fire from the nuclear furnace. Godzilla's most iconic weapon is his atomic breath. That piercing blue beam of energy can melt tanks, vaporize buildings, and even blast a hole through a mountain. But how exactly does he do that? The answer might lie in a little thing called nuclear fission. Remember that? It's the process where atoms split apart, releasing a huge amount of energy in the process. Regenerative power, the healing kaiju. Imagine Godzilla's cells like tiny powerhouses, constantly dividing and repairing themselves at an accelerated rate. It's like they have a built-in cheat code for healing. This ability could also explain Godzilla's incredible lifespan. He's been around for millions of years, and he doesn't seem to be aging a bit. Maybe his super-powered cells just keep on ticking, long after ours would have given up. Gigantic Growth, the Island-Sized King But what about Godzilla's size? How does a creature grow to the size of a skyscraper, let alone a mountain? This one's a bit trickier. There's no known scientific principle that can fully explain how Godzilla gets so darn big. Some have suggested mutations, accelerated growth hormones, or even extraterrestrial origins. One interesting theory proposes that Godzilla might be tapping into some unknown energy field, like a living kaiju battery. This field could supercharge his cells, allowing him to grow to unimaginable proportions. We may not have all the answers yet, but it's clear that this king of the monsters is more than just a movie monster. He's a scientific enigma, a walking paradox, and a testament to the power of imagination.